So all I can say is that it takes courage to be open, that you cannot be broken. There is nothing that you can experience that can damage that spiritual place of wholeness. There is nothing. I reminded, as some of you have heard me tell the story, of the young woman that was standing at the, in the, at the university at West Virginia when I taught there, and she was standing on one side of the thing and the nurse was on the other, and she was saying, why won't you just let me die? Why won't they let me kill myself? Why is it such a big deal? And I, my mouth started moving and I talked in a way that I normally would never talk without getting permission. And I said to the woman, essentially, I said, without even introducing myself, you know, whatever it is that you want to kill yourself over is over. And exists only now as a thought, a memory in your head. And she went off on me like a wounded animal, screaming at me that I had no business to be talking to her that way, that I did not know what she'd experienced, that I had, that I did it, da, 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 and she went on for about three minutes probably, and I listened respectfully because it was all true. And when she got through, I said, you know, everything that you've said, ma'am, is true. But what I've said is true also. And the only difference between you and I is you think because of what you've experienced and possibly because of things you've done, that peace of mind is impossible for you to gain. And I know that it's not impossible. It's very, very possible. And I left. And as I walked out the door, I was told later that that woman said to the nurse behind the counter, how do I get to see that man when I get out of the hospital? That woman from being raped and beaten and held for many hours had had 23 hospitalizations in nine years. And she had went to the top trauma experts in Boston and in Morgantown at a big trauma institute. And one time she left the hospital after a suicide attempt with 19 prescriptions for medications. She was in coma more than once from attempts because she had been told actually that she was broken, that this experience had broken her, had injured her, and that she was not whole anymore. And she came to group, and she came to a few individual sessions, but mostly group. And within about 18 months, she was off all medications. 